Hall. What's up everybody? Welcome to the new vlog. It's Sunday, February 4th, and we're in Austin, Texas. Today, we're gonna do some exploring. Come with me, let's go. Hi, this is Future Tone giving you a rundown on what we had to eat. For breakfast, we went to Veracruz and we got this amazing guacamole dip. It was a 10 out of 10. And then I got this delicious Mexican hot chocolate. 10 out of 10 once again. My actual breakfast was this breakfast burrito, which had bacon, eggs, and some queso in it. And it was another 10 out of 10. And this drink was absolutely the most disgusting thing I ever had. I don't know what was in it, but all I could taste was spinach, and it looked like spinach. It was a zero out of 10. Okay, so we just had our breakfast and everything was a 10 out of 10, except for that god awful smoothie. Now we're going to the Austin Capitol and we're gonna take a free tour, which free? Can't beat it. Hey, Future Tone's back. For our next stop, we went and visited the Capitol building of Texas. We got to do a free tour and then we explored the building all by ourselves. It was pretty cool, but also really spooky. This is really spooky. Wait for me. Okay, we just finished our tour and the Capitol is really cool and all, but check this out. They're getting married, but wait. <laughs> There's more. Another wedding. A double wedding. Mad, should we get married here? <laughs> okay. All right, so we toured the Capitol, which was pretty cool. Now we're headed to get some boba tea, which I don't really like. I'm just going along for the experience. All right, so they wanted me to try this. I'm a little bit afraid because I don't like these guys at the bottom. This is s'mores flavored though, and I love s'mores, so let's give it a try. No. <laughs> Take it back. I know we should be exploring Texas right now, but every Macy's has a Toys R Us. Let's find it. Ah, I see it. I see it. I found it, guys. Toys R Us. And there's Jeffrey. Nerf Wars 6? If it could fit in my suitcase, I would. This Lego section is whack. Nothing good here. Oh, Duplo, now that's cool. Macy's was fun, and I saw a milkshake bar, and I really wanted to stop to get a milkshake, but Mrs. Fiance over here <laughs> said no, because it's too close to dinner. Hashtag cancel fiancés 2024. All right, so we had our little boba or bubble tea, whatever it's called. And now, since we're in Texas, we got to get some Tex-Mex. So we're going to Matt's Famous El Rancho. It says it's the best Mexican food in the world, but I'll be the judge of that. Let's go eat. Hey, hey, it's Future Tone again, and I'm gonna tell you what I ate from Matt's famous El Rancho. At this stop, I had probably one of the best things I have ever eaten. It was this bowl of queso with guac and taco meat in it. The pot of queso was so big that I could swim in it, and it was so good that I wanted to swim in it. And then for my actual dinner, I got these tacos, but I don't even remember what was on them because the queso just overshadowed everything else I had. That Tex-Mex was glorious. I loved every bite of what I had, especially that queso and guacamole dip. Oh my gosh. Now we're waiting in the parking lot for our Uber to pick us up because there is still a Texas icon that we have to visit. And of course, I'm talking about Bucky's. There he is. Guys, I love it in here. This place is huge. I probably look like such a tourist filming in here, but I don't care. I'm like in shock. Everywhere I go in this store, it just keeps on going. It's crazy. It's a gas station. Why is it so big? <laughs> it's an army of Bucky's. This place seriously lives up to the hype. They have everything here. They've got chocolate Bucky's, hot sauce Bucky's, Cupid Bucky's, Bucky pillows, Bucky socks, Bucky ornaments, Bucky gummies, Bucky trucks, Bucky slippers, Bucky puppets, baby Bucky's, medium sized Bucky's, and the Lord and Savior, Big Bucky. I love this store. Look at me. I'm a cowboy. I'm Kevin in real life. Oh yeah. This is the look. I'm getting this. Bucky's was amazing. It was huge in there. And of course, I got a ton of souvenirs. I'll show you guys what I got when I get back to the Airbnb. All right, guys, we just got back from Bucky's. It was a great time. I loved it in there. Let me show you what I got. So, for food, I got a Bucky's chocolate chip cookie. Then I got Bucky's sour candy. Then I got some Bucky's beef jerky. And then for the sick merch, I got 
this little Bucky ornament, a Bucky puppet, which may make another appearance later in a future video. And this awesome Bucky shirt. This is the front and this is the back. It's cringy and it's stylish, just the way I like it. Now that we've finished our Bucky's experience, it's time for us to get to bed because we have another really fun and really busy day tomorrow. Salutations and happy Monday. We're still in Austin, Texas. I know you can't see it, but that's Austin out there. We don't have any plans today because we accomplished all of our plans for this trip yesterday. So we're just gonna wing it today. Come along for the ride. It's a pretty cold day and it's really windy out. So hopefully you guys can still hear this with the audio maybe getting cut up by the wind. But for breakfast, we're going to Magnolia Cafe South. It's got really good reviews online. So let's see if it's actually any good. Hey, Future Tone is back. And spoiler alert, it was really good. I got this queso omelet. And remember when I said that the vat of queso from last night was the best thing I ever had? Scratch that, it's now this. All right, so we just had our breakfast. Everything was a 10 out of 10, of course, as usual. I love Texas because all the food is amazing here. Now, I think we're going to a bookstore because I'm with a bunch of nerds. So let's see if there's any cool books there. Here we go to Nerds R Us. I know I've been hard on my friends for being book nerds, but I actually do like books. I used to read a lot when I was a kid. I absolutely loved Harry Potter. They were my favorite. The best book, in my opinion, is The Prisoner of Azkaban. If you haven't read Harry Potter yet, give it a try the best. In kindergarten, I used to ask our school librarian for the Star Wars books and she would never give them to me because she said they were too advanced and I would always get upset. But now I understand why, because these books are thick. Kindergarten me would never be able to read this. Guys, look at this. It's a tiny little Yoda. Ooh, $30. Do I get him? Would he fit in my suitcase though? If I didn't have to go on a plane, I would totally get him. Okay, we just finished up at the bookstore and the sun is out. I actually really like the bookstore, I'm not gonna lie. It had some really neat books, but also even more importantly, it had some really neat toys that I wanted to buy, but I couldn't because I can't fit them in a suitcase. I really wanted that Yoda. But anyway, now we're gonna do a little bit more exploring in Austin. Time to get some cowboy boots and cowboy hats. Yeehaw! Now this is Texas. I've never seen this many shoes in my entire life. There's so much leather in here, it smells like a couch. These are perfect. I'm getting these. Howdy. All right, so if I wanted to get my whole cowboy fit, this hat's gonna be $299.99. And then these boots are gonna be $719.99. And my vest is gonna be $549.99. All right, so if I wanted this whole cowboy outfit, it would be $1,570. So I think I'm gonna pass on this. All right, so I got some pretty cool stuff from that store, but now it's time to go to Whataburger because I've never had it and I'm excited to try. I see Whataburger in the distance. We made it. All right, so my Whataburger experience was really interesting. I got the bacon and cheese Whataburger and it was pretty good, you know, it was all right. But while we were in there and ordering, we witnessed a fight between two people. So that was really cool. I wish I got some vlog footage of that, but I was afraid to film because I was afraid that I would have been part of the fight. But some of my friends aren't too satisfied with what they got from Whataburger. So now we're gonna go to In-N-Out and see which one's better. Did you know Texas had In-N-Out? Me neither, but let's give it a try. In-N-Out was so much better than Whataburger. If you're ever in Austin, Texas, Go to In-N-Out, don't go to Whataburger. Well guys, that's the end of our Austin trip. Now it's time to go to bed because tomorrow we're flying back to New York. Good morning everyone and happy Tuesday. Well, it's actually a sad Tuesday today because we're leaving Austin, but Austin will always live on in my memory because I have the Bucky shirt. Check out the back. I'm going back to Bucky's and I will be back. Now let's go to the airport. All right, so we made it to the airport now, and my plan for the plane ride is to write two scripts for next week and to edit the video that's coming out this Friday. It's a lot of stuff to try and do, but we have four hours, so I think we can hopefully get most of it done.
up guys we just got off the airplane and i was able to write two scripts so now all i have to do tonight is edit which i love all right so i've been editing for about an hour but i just finished this video and i don't have a name for it yet right now i have it named as the nerdy hangout but i don't think i'm going to stick with that name now we're going to export it and maybe get an early bedtime for once Update. I decided to call it The Worst Day Ever. I think that's a pretty good title, and it's clickbait, but it's also not. You'll see what I mean. All right, so The Worst Day Ever is officially uploading to YouTube. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock, New York time, and I've been traveling all day. I just finished up editing, and I'm exhausted, so I think I'm going to go to bed early for once. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody, and happy Wednesday. Today's gonna be an interesting day because I don't think I'm really gonna do any work. I'm meeting up with my friends in a little bit, and then we're gonna go to a really cool toy shop. And then after that, we're headed into New York City to watch a Broadway musical. It should be a really fun and really different day, so I hope you guys are ready for a fun one. All right, let's get some toys and collectibles. Oh my gosh. This place is packed with stuff. It's gonna take me a year to look at everything, but this isn't everything. They have a whole nother room. Look at all this Star Wars stuff. Guys, they have so much stuff here. They have Legos, Barbies, Star Wars, cars, Disney, sports stuff. But I'm not a big sports guy, so let's walk away from here. Marvel stuff, Elvis stuff, so many games, even toys for your grandma. Oh my gosh, they have Jeffrey. I saw him earlier this week. Guys, this was my first ever Lego set and I really wanna buy it, but I don't think I can spend $100 for a box that's smaller than my hand. So I'm gonna have to pass. This store is so awesome and I never ever wanna leave. All right, well, we're leaving and I did buy something. I got this little Greedo figure. It was $10, but it was worth it. Now we're going to a secondhand Lego store called Bricks and Minifigs. Let's go. All right, I hope they have something good in here because I'm ready to spend some big bucks. Look at this place. It's heaven. Oh my gosh, they have Cloud City. Should I? I might not spend $3,500 today, but I definitely am gonna spend $4 on this. I really want this so badly, but I can't spend $3,500 today. Maybe tomorrow, not today. Well, I went in there fully expecting to spend a lot of money, and then I saw something that was worth more money than I wanted to spend. So I'm leaving there empty handed. I'm sad, but I guess it's good for my bank account. Anyway, now it's time to go to New York City and see a Broadway play. Or musical? I'm not sure what it is. We made it to New York, but we're running behind schedule, so we gotta run. Hi guys, we made it to the show with three minutes to spare. I'll see you guys when it's over. All right, so the show is done. We're gonna end the night by getting some Raising Cane's in Times Square. All right, so we did eat at Raising Cane's, but I forgot to film what the food looked like before I ate it. So here's what it looked like after I ate it. Overall, it was pretty good, but I think because it was in New York, it was kind of like a watered down version of what it could be. But now we're headed to the train station to go back home. All right, everybody, it's now 2.30 in the morning, but we finally made it home from New York. I know I didn't vlog too much in the city, but that's because we were rushing to the show, and then after the show, we just got Raising Cane's and went home. I really enjoyed the musical. Seeing Daniel Radcliffe, the guy who played Harry Potter, on stage right in front of me was insane. And the musical was really good too, but I was more obsessed with seeing Daniel Radcliffe. It was awesome. But I think it's time for bed, because I'm really tired, and tomorrow I have to start working again. That's right. We have a lot of filming to do tomorrow, so let's get some sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. I've got a really long day today because I'm going to try to film not one, but two videos in one day. Do you guys think I can do it? Yeah. 
Me neither, but let's give it a try. The first stop of the day is my aunt's house, or Trevor's house, for another episode of Trevor Tries. Let's get filming. We're already starting off in a bit of a rough spot because I forgot to bring my lights. Luckily, I do have my ring light, so I'm gonna see if that works as a source of light in the house. Otherwise, most of this video is gonna have to be shot outside, which I don't wanna do because it's cold out and a little bit windy. The ring light works, so we're good. You three are gonna help me achieve a very difficult task. Are you trying to ride horses? Are you trying to improve your test scores? Are you trying to be less annoying? All right, so I'm done filming in the living room. Now I have to move to the other rooms in the house and go outside and film more of that. The living room scene took me about 20 minutes, which is not what I wanted because I'm trying to move through this day really quickly. So let's speed this up. Put the bangs in front of your eyes. Why don't you get her something thoughtful? Oh yeah, that's an excellent point. All right, we just finished that video and I am so pumped right now because it's 1.45, 15 minutes ahead of schedule. Now it's time to go back to my house and film an entirely different video. Okay, so I'm back home now and I'm in the basement looking for the lights that I forgot to bring and they're not here either. My only hope is that I left them at my dad's house last week. If they're not there, I have no idea where they are and that could be a big problem. But whether they're there or not doesn't really matter for today because I'm not gonna go out there and get them. So I guess I'm just gonna have to use the ring light for this video also. I hate using the ring light, man. So I never really stopped to explain why I'm filming so much today. But basically, even though I was just in Texas and the week before I was in LA, Next week, I'm going to the Poconos. That trip's not gonna be too long. It's only gonna be for three days, but it's gonna be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Those are prime filming days for me on a normal week. So I'm trying to film both of these videos in one day so that I can edit tomorrow, go back up to New York on Saturday, and then watch the Super Bowl with my friends on Sunday. And then on Monday, come home, and then on Tuesday, go to the Poconos. Next week's gonna be a crazy week, but we gotta get done this week first. Let's keep filming. Hey, I'm here! Billy, please, try to talk a little bit quieter, okay? You took too long to open the door, so I opened it myself. All right, I remember Raggedy Ann loving peanut butter and jelly last time, so maybe we should make her one of those. Oh, good idea! And maybe you can make me a sandwich too! If there are Oreos in this pantry, you're in serious trouble, young man. Okay guys, so I've been working on this video for like two hours now and the sun is in kind of a bad position. It's not light enough where it could still look like daytime outside and it's not dark enough where it could look like nighttime. So I think I'm gonna take like an hour break and then get back to filming when it gets dark out. All right, well, it's dark out now, so I think it's time to film the nighttime scenes. So while I was filming this, I realized that this video isn't gonna come out till after the vlog comes out. And I don't wanna to spoil too much with all this behind the scenes footage, so I think I'll leave you guys off right here and I'll update you when I'm done filming tonight. Gosh, I hope I finish filming tonight. Let's go. I'm actually attempting to do something that I've never tried before. In the video that you guys are eventually gonna see, the main character falls asleep right there. I'm gonna leave this tripod and the camera staying here overnight so that in the morning I can film him waking up and hopefully it'll be a really seamless transition. We'll see if my dreams become a reality. Now I'm gonna end the night by editing Trevor Tries. All right, I edited all of the Trevor Tries footage that I filmed today which is a major win for me because now tomorrow I can focus on editing this vlog and finishing up the filming that I started today. Overall, we're in pretty good shape, but it's past midnight now and I'm exhausted. So it's time for bed. Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. I just hopped out of bed, put the costume on, and I am ready to film. The ring light and the camera are still in the same position, so hopefully this shot is gonna work. Okay, so filming is going very well. I only have one more scene to film, but I wanted to show you guys something. If you ever wondered, when I'm talking to another character, how do I get their eye lines to match up? Because there's no one else to talk to. Usually I either stare at this microphone or I stare at something behind the microphone just so that I have something for my eyes to lock onto because if I didn't do that, my eyes would wander and it would be kind of confusing where the characters were. Okay, back to filming. When you're filming with a live animal, it's so hard for things to go right. But Benny the cat did a great job. It was really hard for me to keep a straight face though. Take a look at these bloopers. You can watch. <laughs> You can, please, oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, please, please, stay here. 
Okay guys, we are finally done filming this video. So now it's time to film my TikTok for the day and then begin editing this vlog. Hi everyone, just a quick update. Remember when I was looking for those lights? Well, here they are. I filmed two entire videos without my lights, which is so annoying, but at least I found them. I'm an idiot. Okay, so I just finished filming my TikToks. Now I'm gonna go get dinner and then come back and edit. All right, everybody, I just got back from eating. Now it's time to edit the vlog that you're watching. This night has been super adventurous because all I've done is edit and move to a different couch. But the editing for this vlog that you're watching is now complete. So I think I'm gonna go upstairs and get some sleep because tomorrow is another long day of travel because I'm headed up to New York again. These weeks just keep getting better and better. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. My dad is here to pick me up to bring me to the train station to go back to New York. We've got kind of a low key day today. I'm gonna travel back up to New York and then I'm gonna film a short scene for Trevor Tries with my girlfriend. And then we're gonna go to dinner after that. Should be a fun and easy day. Let's go. All right, so I'm at the train station. On the train, I'm gonna try to do a little bit more editing. Editing as usual. I'm on my next train and I'm gonna keep on editing and I'll see you guys at the end of the ride. That was a quick ride, wasn't it? Now let's go film. Okay guys, it's time for me to ask this girl to be my Valentine. I hope she says yes. Will you be my Valentine? No. Worth a shot. I'm Trevor from school. <laughs> I got you this. All right, I just got done filming out here. Now I'm gonna go inside, do a little bit of editing and then it's time for dinner. Editing for Trevor Tries is now complete. Now it's dinner time. Well guys, I just got back from dinner and I didn't vlog it because I forgot. But now it's time to finish up editing this vlog. This was definitely a crazy week and I really hope you guys enjoyed. We went to Texas, we went to New York, we went back home and then we came back up to New York. We filmed two videos in one day. We edited a bunch of videos. We filmed a bunch of TikToks. This was a successful and fun week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next Sunday. Thank you.